Hello everyone and welcome back to This Old Bible. It is great to be back. The sun's out. It's a beautiful day. Uh, if you take a look at the opening, you'll see that it is a little different than the weather today. I took that opening uh, video shot back in February. I had plans to make a video that day and the trees were beautiful and I decided that would be a, a good shot to use as an opening. But things happened and I never got to create the video. So even though today is about 60 degrees and sunny here in Stone Row, um, I still decided to use that as the opening because it was just too pretty to, to discard. Now, yeah, it has been a day or two since I've had the chance to share with you. Um, and I, to say the least, it has been a time. February and March has seen us go through a period of of either sickness or injury with everybody in our household uh, from 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 february until now including today as dan my oldest uh last night woke up with a fever uh, i have had we have had everything from influenza a go through the house uh to a period that uh i had COVID uh, throughout a large chunk of February and the strange thing with that it went away uh, then all of a sudden boom I got this the fever I got this fever and COVID came back and I mean I'm not not complaining uh, not crying in my soup but at the same time it has been a struggle in addition to that uh, we we lost a, a person very near and dear to us a family member um, in addition to that, we had another family member uh, that had to be uh, flown to a hospital for, uh, a, a, to a stroke care center uh, in the middle of, of my having COVID, so I wasn't much help. And my two boys did a bang-up job of uh, stepping up to the plate and helping out. So, yeah, uh, again, not making excuses. Again, I had all the plans uh, the one day that we had the ice storm, I don't even, they, all the days were kind of blurred together. Uh, I, I'm not quite sure when that was, but I had the plans to make a video then. That would have been in late February. And as you can tell, things just happened um, that it just didn't work. So uh, here I am at the back of the truck today, and I've got a stock tip for you. I realize that's not normally my forte. Uh, when it comes to making videos, but oh, I've got a I've got a winner uh, when it comes to stocks if you want to make a pile of money um, The Faust family alone has purchased more ginger ale in the past two months than I think any Person probably has a right to I suppose uh, we have cornered the market on ginger ale and Gatorade um, mainly ginger ale though, so if you want to if you have a portfolio and you'd like to make a lot of money, uh, sell everything off, get rid of it. Microsoft, Apple, uh, yeah, get rid of it all. You, you need to buy stock in, in ginger ale because uh, that, that's, we're buying enough ginger ale that we should cause the stock to go through the roof. Uh, no, no don't, don't wreck your portfolio. I'm just kidding, of course. But it seems like that's all we buy. We buy ginger ale and saltines. If I eat another plain saltine cracker, in my lifetime, it will probably be too soon. Uh, nothing against the saltine cracker companies. Great job, thank you, they work great, but I'm really not into eating anything that has to do with the saltine. Nope, uh, I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, so, as you can see, life has been, it has been a time, and I know in some of my past videos I've talked about uh, going through a season and I had the video about weeds uh, and and how life can can be weedy and so on, but I can honestly say uh, In my life. I don't think I've ever had a time when um, Hard times I guess would be the right word have overlapped so much uh, With with major things I mean like being sick is bad enough as it is But when you have when you you know when you lose someone that's so valuable to, to your family and love so much um that's tough when you have 
another person of your family that again is so valuable and loved so much and they're in a, in a hospital and then have to transition to a care center and both of those places did such a fantastic job uh taking care of them uh it's and then you're sitting there and you, uh, you know you have covid you can't even help out very frustrating very difficult so the overlapping things uh really really makes it tough uh so i know also and i am well aware that our family is not unique uh we're not the only ones that have dealt with layer upon layer of trouble uh, in the past year or two and uh, i'm sure there are many people out there watching that can relate to this sort of thing so with that uh today i just have very quickly uh one simple bible verse to share with you and it's going to be uh, not out of character but most of the time i share new testament uh today we'll be in old testament most of the time i share a longer passage but this uh, is just a verse we i heard this on the radio i listened to, to k love i like it um and they always have a, a verse of the day and this was the verse that i heard uh today so i'm going to share it with you because i'm sure again many of you uh find yourself uh find yourselves in situations that are less than splendid we'll say so if you have your bibles remembering of course this is the word of god isaiah 41 verse 10 yeah isaiah 41 verse 10 and again i heard this on the radio today so it really spoke to me so i do not fear for oh so uh, it's been a while let me try that again so do not fear for i am with you do not be dismayed for i am your god I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Again, I heard that on the radio. I was like, hello, that's exactly what I needed to hear. It's so important. I'm going to read it one more time. I'm going to share it with you one more time. Again, it's Isaiah 41, 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And believe me, throughout this trying time, uh, I've leaned on God more than I ever have. And if that's the result of, of having to go through this, then okay, that, that, that's fine. I, I'm, I'm good with that, uh, as tough as it may be. Uh, anything that happens that draws you closer to God um, is again working those negative things uh, for your good so with that um, it has been a year since I've been doing videos and again uh, we've kind of actually gone past that that one year anniversary I think March 15th I don't know you'll have to check out the first video it has the date on it but I believe that's when we got started with all of this and I'm uh, yeah, I'm thrilled that it, it has been a year. I kind of had some plans together for like the, the year anniversary video that I was going to do something special and so on and so on. Listen, at this point, I am just thrilled that I'm doing a video and I have a new one up for, uh, for, to share with you, I guess. So, uh, with that, hopefully we're back on track. Uh, Dan, again, he has the flu today. So hopefully a couple days and he'll, he'll be back on his feet. And I, maybe we've gone, it's all run its course, and I think we'll be okay, and things will be better. So, for those that have been praying for, for me, personally, and for my family, <coughs> pardon me, I thank you very much. It is appreciated, and it does work, and we are being pulled out of the mess that we've been in here. Um, things take time, and we need, uh, we need healing, for the, the, obviously, for the loss uh, that we experienced, uh, but with that, um, I want to thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart. It means everything. So, uh, yeah, so hopefully I'll see you next week. Uh, we should be back on track. Uh, so God bless you, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Take care. Mm -hmm.